Chapter 75 The canoe was as black as the river. Kate paddled in front, Coop paddled in back. I sat in between, shivering, trying not to cough, wondering what kind of deadly bacteria I had just sucked into my lungs. I probably wasn't going to live long enough to find out. Searchlights appeared up and down river. The canoe was matte black inside and out, and virtually invisible against the rock wall. Kate handled it expertly, keeping it close to the wall, as if she'd done it hundreds of times before. Kate! The Lord of the Deep's megaphoned shout ricocheted off the walls like bullets. This did not cause even the slightest hiccup in Kate's rhythmic paddling. We know everything! Kate continued paddling. The pod are everywhere! Slicing through the water. Left, left. All the exits are guarded. You cannot get away! Right, right, smoothly. I'm willing to put this all behind us. Just bring me those boys. Left, left, steadily. This is when I realized how strong Kate was. If I were her, I'd be shouting back, You murdered my parents. You kidnapped me. You lied to me. Right, right, silently. With each quiet stroke, she was destroying the man who destroyed her parents. Kate! The searchlight in front of us was getting brighter. I know you can hear me! Kate brought the canoe to a stop. I know you're frightened! She reached out and pulled the canoe snug against the rocks. There's nothing to be afraid of if you do the right thing. She motioned for us to lie flat. I stretched back. Coop stretched forward, face to face. A searchlight passed over the canoe, well above the waterline. A woman was talking to Laud on the radio. I switched the recorder on. Coop grinned. The other one was inside the compound, too. Seekers tracked him up to your floor outside your door. We didn't go inside, of course, but we're assuming... He was inside the compound? Definitely. How could that happen? We're trying to figure that out. Maybe they're still inside. We're still searching, but I doubt it. We just found Mike. And? Kate slapped the kid's cuffs on him. The only way those cuffs could have... Laud's boat motored out of hearing distance. Kate whispered, The dock is around the bend. Shadows and seekers will be waiting. The river's wide there. Normally they can't see the other side, but they'll have searchlights. I need to switch places with you, Pat. I'm going to take us past there on my own. Where does this river go? Coop asked as we switched. It empties into the Hudson, but you can't get there from here. The final quarter mile is completely underwater. We'll take a side tunnel before we get there. I suspect Laud has dropped shadows in some of them. I just hope they aren't in the passage we're taking. As we switched places, it occurred to me that we weren't rescuing Kate. She was rescuing us. But she might not have left if Coop hadn't gone down. 